Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Nicolescu and today I will show you how to start an automation in Jira and, or Confluence using UiPath. So from UiPath Glow, go, you search for these activities and you download the activities on your PC. Now, to be able to get a Jira instance or a Confluence instance, you go to, G to Atlassian, you say try free, and here, you can select for seven days. You have your own instance, Jira and documentation. So you have Jira and Confluence. Try for free. And here, very important, you'll put your, put your name and so on. You see, no credit card, very nice from their side. And here you have to put the name of, of the site. You have to remember this one because you will use this on your iPad Studio. In my case, I put here Christy Test. So I say agree and I have my account. So this is my account. You see it's christytestatlassian.net. And here I have my stuff with Jira and uh, also Confluence. Good. If you don't have UiPath, you have to go to uipath.com. Again, start your trial and you have the community version, which is for free. Good. After you get all the softwares, you go to UiPath Studio and you start your project. So I create here a project that will be called Jira and Atlassian, uh, Jira and Confluence, okay? So I'll install all the components. So let's see what I need to do. So basically in UiPath Studio on a process, first I need to uh, add the, this activity. So we'll go to all packages. I'll write Jira. And you will have Jira get activity and you have also uh, Jira, um, uh, UiPath team Jira activity. And you also can write Confluence, Confluence, and you'll have UiPath team Confluence activity. I will install these activities and come back on this video. So I install all the packages. So I install Jira from UiPath, uh, from, um, UiPath. Uh, from UiPath team I install Jira kit and I install also Confluence. Here I have a lot of activities. You have probably 45 activities for Jira and you'll have 25 activities for Confluence. And you can do a lot, you can, um, you can work with a lot of objects from both um, systems. So to connect, you just drag and drop the application scope like this. And on the application scope, you have to put the user and you have to put the token API. I will come back to this token API. Remember that we talk about the endpoint, yeah? You need to provide also the endpoint. So when you create your account here, you need to copy this one. In my case, it's christiantest at atlassian.net, yeah? So this is my endpoint, yeah? This is my endpoint, and I have to provide this endpoint to the connector. Now, to get the API, I have to go here. So I have to go to idatlassian.com, manage IP token, yeah? So if I go here, I will go and create an API token, yeah? And this API token will be uh, used for both Jira and, and Confluence. And from here, I can also revoke this API. So I copy this API token, and this I will use for the connection, okay? After this, I will test the connection, and I will do everything on the design time. Good. Remember, if you want to see other movies with example use cases and so on please follow me on the youtube under christian Nicolescu on my channel you have here a lot of videos about service now salesforce netsuite then the fresh desk jira confluence and so on thank you very much have a good one bye bye